beautiful late summer day, afternoon. The chickens are growing well. My second lot of chickens. So gorgeous. All chickens survive this year. And the mothers are doing, just start doing such a brilliant job. So I thought we'd do a little thing now I'd share with you because I've had Blossom separated from the other cows. I've brought Nula home with Emily Rose and Ivy and here's little Blossom <laughs> and I've had her separated from them because I didn't want her to suckle. Hiya! Oi, oi, oi. Look at all those flies on you. Oi, 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 oi. So let's go and see what happens if I do this. I'll just hurry up before the other cows come. <laughs> Sometimes they can be hard on a little calf, but now they've gotten to know each other. Ooh. Good girls, you're being nice. And Emily Rose, she's the red one. She's at the bottom of the hierarchy there, so she's going to try to explain to her that she's now she's the boss of Blossom. Ay, yeah, yeah. Oh, you feel nice and safe in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind little cows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nula, she's the boss, and she's just such a beautiful, friendly cow. <laughs> They're such social animals, cows. They just love to be together. Whoop, that's showing dominance. Guy? <laughs> oh, yo, 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 yo. We don't have Blossom's mummy anymore, Fiona. So she's been weaned now. Wish. <laughs> they're not aggressive. That's really wonderful. They're just telling her that they're. She's the little one. Pregnant, gonna have her Oof. have her baby in December. Getting a nice little udder. So I'll just get down. 
down here. So we don't have Fiona and Holly anymore and uh, yeah I was planning on keeping Holly. See some of you ask where are the other cows and sometimes they're butchered because I'm not going to have lots and lots of cows so they do get butchered, uh, the ones I don't want to keep. And the plan is, as many of you know, <laughs> I want to have these Dexies, which are Jersey, uh, Jersey Dexter mixes, and I'm hoping very much. See, I want calm cows, and I really wanted a red one, and I was lucky to get one. And maybe Nula, she's going to give birth soon, and she might, she's going to have her sister. Hopefully, it's a girl, and hopefully, she's red too. So that's sort of the, the plan and so, so Holly uh, was actually, she was a Dexie and I was planning on keeping her but she was, uh, she broke out of the fences and that's just a part of their personality. Some, of, some cows just do that more than others and she, the police rang and the cows are running around at a neighbor's place and as soon as we got them in she ran out again so, and she was quite fiery. Mm. And her mother was not a very good milker, so I very quickly, and we had this very hot, dry weather, so I quickly decided oh, we're not going to keep her, because I just don't want to be running around looking, looking for my cows. <laughs> it's just so, this fence, there's no electricity on this, and they respect it so well. So there's many things to, to keeping a cow, there's many things to take into consideration, and the fact that they're calm, and friendly and they respect uh, just the way you do things is just so important. So um, Holly is going to be some lovely, becoming some lovely veal and it's going to be very tasty I think. So yeah, here they are, beautiful cows. Mm. Yeah. Mummy and daughter. Mummy and daughter. Oh yeah, yeah. So gorgeous. She's so short-legged, Nula. She's got such short legs. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Oi! <laughs> Was that nice? Oof. <laughs> She's happy to be in here with her some space. But I have to watch her. She doesn't start to suck on their teats because she can ruin the teats of the heifers. So that was just a little cow video. Bless you all. See you.